In early November 2024, Ghana will take another historic step forward in the global mining industry as President Nana Akufo Addo commissions the Cardinal Namdini Mining Project, a monumental addition to the country's gold mining landscape. This new venture, located in the Talensi district of the Upper East Region, is set to become Ghana's third largest gold mining operation. Not only does it stand among the country's top mining projects, but it will also rank as one of the largest gold mines on the African continent. For the people of Ghana, and particularly those in the northern region, this project represents more than just economic potential. It's a beacon of growth, progress, and the spirit of possibility. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. Journey to this moment has been long and meticulous, marked by careful planning and rigorous development. Samuel Abujinapur, Ghana's Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, uh, was visibly moved as he recently toured the Cardinal Namdini site in late October, just weeks before the commissioning. Walking through the vast expanse of land transformed into a state-of-the-art mining facility, he reflected on the project's significance, calling it a pivotal moment for both the northern region and the entire nation. This is the first large-scale gold mine in the north, which is really historic, he remarked, with a palpable sense of pride. It is going to further consolidate Ghana's status as a leading producer of gold in the world. This is momentous and exciting. The impact of the Cardinal Namdini mining project stretches far beyond the borders of the Talensi district. Gold mining has long been the backbone of Ghana's economy, making it one of the top gold producers globally. Yet, most of the industry's focus has historically been centered in the southern regions. The introduction of this large-scale operation in the north signifies a turning point, offering a glimmer of hope and a new beginning for communities that have often felt left behind in the broader narrative of economic development. The Cardinal Namdini project also holds the distinction of being Ghana's first greenfield gold mining project in nearly a decade. Unlike brownfield projects, which are expansions or reactivations of previously developed sites, greenfield projects start from scratch. This means that the mine was constructed with a clean slate, allowing for the integration of cutting edge equipment, advanced safety protocols, and environmental protections from the very beginning. With these modern systems in place, Cardinal Namdini is set to establish itself as a model for sustainable and responsible mining practices, aligning perfectly with Ghana's aspiration to be seen not only as a mining powerhouse, but as the mining hub of Africa. During his tour of the site, Minister Jinapur took a moment to acknowledge the numerous hands that have contributed to bringing this ambitious project to life. He praised the management and staff of Cardinal Namdini for their dedication and hard work, highlighting their role in making this vision a reality. Equally, he recognized the support from the Ministry of Lands and the Minerals Commission, which have played pivotal roles in guiding the project through the regulatory landscape and ensuring compliance with all legal requirements. It is a big project that is going to contribute hugely to the national economy of our country, Jinapur emphasized, noting the substantial economic benefits that the mine is expected to bring. Indeed, the Cardinal Namdini mine promises to be a game changer for Ghana's economy. With its vast reserves and state-of-the-art facilities, the mine is projected to become a major contributor to national revenue, bolstering the country's economic resilience in a global market where gold remains a valuable and sought-after commodity. But the mine's economic impact will not be confined to the national level alone. It will also resonate deeply within the local community. Employment opportunities generated by the project are expected to uplift countless families in the Talensi district and beyond, providing stable income sources and fostering the growth of local businesses that will benefit from the mine's operations. Central to this promise of local development is the commitment made by Cardinal Namdini to uphold high standards of corporate social responsibility, CSR. The company's project manager, Steve Ofori, has been a vocal advocate for this commitment, emphasizing the mine's adherence to stringent environmental protocols and ethical standards. 
In a briefing following the minister's tour, Ofori provided an in-depth overview of the project's compliance with Ghana's regulatory framework. He highlighted Cardinal Namdini's collaboration with the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and other regulatory bodies to ensure that mining activities do not compromise the surrounding ecosystem. We have invested in cutting-edge mining technology and equipment to meet environmental standards and operate responsibly, Ofori explained. Underscoring the company's dedication to protecting the environment while ensuring the safety of its workforce and the communities nearby. This focus on environmental stewardship is particularly significant for the local population who depend on the land for their livelihood. Agriculture is a cornerstone of life in the Upper East region, and the people of Talensi are acutely aware of the potential risks that large-scale mining could pose to their environment. By prioritizing environmental sustainability and community engagement, Cardinal Namdini is setting a powerful precedent, demonstrating that it is possible to pursue ambitious industrial goals without sacrificing the well-being of the people and places involved. Ahead of the commissioning, Minister Jinapur and his delegation took the opportunity to visit Kug Bilsong Nanlebeglong, the paramount chief of the Talensi traditional area. In a show of respect and solidarity, the delegation paid a courtesy call on the paramount chief, who has been an ardent supporter of the mine since its early stages. For him and the people of Talensi, the Cardinal Namdini project represents a monumental shift, an opportunity to reverse long-standing economic disparities and pave the way for future prosperity. Describing the project as a game changer, the chief expressed his optimism that the mine would create jobs for the region's youth, stem out migration, and drive sustainable development. He also stressed the importance of corporate social responsibility, voicing the hope that Cardinal Namdini would uphold its commitment to giving back to the community through education, healthcare, and infrastructure development. As the date for the commissioning ceremony draws near, anticipation is building across Ghana. This, this is not just another mine being opened. It's a national achievement that encapsulates the ambition, resilience, and forward-looking vision of a country that is ready to lead. Ghana has long been a top-tier producer of gold, and the addition of the Cardinal Namdini mine only strengthens this position on the world stage. The mine is expected to generate substantial revenue, support local economic activities, and reinforce Ghana's reputation as a stable, lucrative destination for mining investments. For the people of Talensi, the commissioning of Cardinal Namdini marks the dawn of a new era, one in which their lands are recognized not only for their cultural richness, but also for their economic potential. The employment generated by the mine will enable families to build better lives, while the infrastructure improvements promised by the company could lay the foundation for sustained regional development. Roads, schools, health facilities. These are the tangible symbols of progress that the people of Talensi hope to see as the project matures. As we approach the first week of November, the eyes of the nation, and indeed the world, will turn to Talensi, where Ghana's journey as a mining giant will reach a new milestone. The Cardinal Namdini Mining Project stands as a testament to what can be achieved when vision meets commitment and when progress is, is pursued in harmony with people and nature. This isn't just a story about gold. It's a story about Ghana's potential, its people's resilience, and a future that sparkles with the promise of prosperity and growth. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to the channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.